All right, so I've gotten a lot of requests to read you um, this video with better sound quality. So I got a new phone, so it should be better video and sound for you. Now, this is my TSOSH 1911. Um, has this Black Hawk Serpa holster that I really like. It's got the uh, button retention there. Um, and even with the... Um, the button depressed you can hold it upside down and it won't fall out unless you really sling it so um, it has a pretty good amount of retention there um, in terms of what I've done to this firearm um, I, it has a new safety new trigger um, new grips grip screws as someone noted the gri grip screws do protrude a little bit um, it really doesn't bother me at all. Um, as you can see, it, it really, um, I put my, um, I can't show you my two-handed grip, but that's my one-handed grip right there. And uh, I actually don't even contact the screws on that side. And I really don't notice them in my hand um, at all on the other side. So it's actually my perfect grip. I've uh, Replace the uh, mainspring housing to make it that way. So, um, yeah, new trigger, grips, mainspring housing, um, safety, new sights. Um, I will go ahead and link uh, where you can get these sights. I bought them locally, but they are night sights. Focus. Come on. There we go. It's a really nice sight picture. Um, I have hit some foot targets um, from very far away, um, like 80 yards with this. Um, so I'm quite happy with the sight picture. And if it would focus, you can see the titanium um, firing pin there. The firing pin is um, titanium so that it's just a little bit more drop safe. Um, so, and it's got a little stiffer spring in there, but otherwise it just keeps it functioning normally um other than that it's got a new barrel bushing there or uh, no the bushing is is original just the um takedown button here is uh that's a new one there because i like to have a spare on hand in case it goes flying um just in case um but yeah i'm pretty happy with it and then, just to recap some of the other accessories, we have the uh, the Serpa holster, of course, that I was talking about earlier. Um, I have this belt that I like. It's just a tactical belt from the Army, Navy. Um, here's the brand here. I, uh, I've been happy with it. It's just cheap Chinese. I think it was 10 bucks, um, but it's nice and stiff. Um, it's what you need. And then I have bunch of magazines um, this one here um, I believe is the chip McCormick and I really like it uh, it's actually my favorite of them um, it just seems to feed the best um, I haven't had any issues with any of them um, except for the one that came here this one's empty um, but this is a Wilson combat 10 round this was eight rounds um, 10 rounds, another eight round. Oh, this is the Chip McCormick. So that one's a Wilson Combat. Um, this one's my favorite, but I haven't, of those three, I haven't had a single issue with those. The only one that I have is with this, uh, Metgar that came with the T-Sosh. Um, but... It was when it was brand new in its break-in period, and I haven't had any trouble since. Um, I don't prefer it. It's only seven rounds. Um, but, you know, it's there if I need it. It's not the one that I would um, trust the most. And then, of course, uh, the um, this is the SDS Imports, the company that imports TSOSH um, firearms. They included this with the gun, which was nice. Always have to have a good brush. Um, I always keep a little bit of sandpaper. Just really fine sandpaper for any burning or anything like that. Always need some lube. Bore cleaner. And then I just keep a cheap little 
uh, kit. I don't like this kit very much, um, but I've replaced some of the components in there and uh, it's nice and com compact for keeping in this bag, which I got at the Army Navy store, earplugs in there. Um, but this was a cheap bag as well. But um, this trigger isn't super duper light. Um, it's uh, pretty good though. And here I'll just dry fire it for you in a second. So you can see there's just like a little bit of take up and then it's a pretty crisp trigger pull. And you can see the sight picture is nice. I really like this thumb safety. So I do like when I have a two-handed grip, I like to keep my thumb on top of that safety like this. I don't get bitten. Um, some folks that I've shot with have. I've gotten bitten once when I was kind of limp wristing it, but um, I really like the A1 configuration, so I'm pretty happy with um, this current setup. So there are all the all the angles. Um, it's pretty slick. I'd highly recommend it if you're looking for a budget 1911 that you'd like to make your own, you know. Uh, this one really fits my hand like a glove. Between the safety, the length and trigger, the, um, the grips, the main spring housing, it really is a comfortable and fun gun to shoot. Um, and it's very, very reliable. The machining on it is phenomenal so I'll take it apart here and um, show you the inside if you'd like um, that'll be a separate video so uh, take care